Hi there, this is WitWoo from WitWoo.com, and today I wanted to have a discussion with you about using an Oracle database, Dapper, and a .NET Core program to retrieve data using a stored procedure. This is a bit tricky, considering that even though Dapper is database agnostic, it still is a bit problematic when working with an Oracle database, but there is a way around it pretty quick and I will show that to you momentarily. First off, I would encourage you to please check out my website at witwoo.com where you can find items related to coding with .NET, career advice, experience from college, things of that nature. So please check that out if you have a moment. Alright, so let's go ahead familiarize ourselves with our database and for this we need the magnifier to help you guys see. So you see that we have a schema called Atlantis Games and we have a table called game catalog. If we go down here, we see we have an ID, name, genre, and rating for it. So let's go ahead, bust into our code really quick. And let's move this guy right over here. All right, so we have a games catalog model. We should be familiar with this. ID, name, genre, ESRB rating. Now the stored procedure will be attempting to call is this one right over here. So pretty much we are recalling a store procedure called get all games and we're effectively just saying select all from Atlantis games game catalog. But here's a bit of a difference that you might not expect. So working with an Oracle database if you want to return something from a store procedure you needed to explicitly define an out parameter unlike SQL Server where you just simply return the data and map it to your list. So let's see how that works. But before we do that, uh, let's go ahead and let me kind of show you how this works right now. So in my program, I have this repository I've defined. I have the ability to add a game, remove a game, update a game name. But what I want to show you is what happens when I attempt to retrieve something from the game catalog. You can see I'm calling my stored procedure right over here. I'm defining it as a stored procedure. I want to put it into a list. And the test that's going to call it, let's go ahead and find that, is right over here. So let's go ahead and run that test. Okay, and we see we have a bit of a problem. Let's go ahead and take a look at that error. So it says that we have the wrong number or types of arguments to call in get all games. So we haven't defined our out parameter yet. Now one thing you might think you could do is you could create a dynamic parameter and define it that way. So let's go ahead give that a shot. So we know that the name of our parameter is games. We know that the parameter direction is output. And let's see really quick if we can find a mapping type and we actually do not have mapping type available to us and that's actually needed for us to be able to get our data back. We're looking for a mapping type of ref cursor. I mean even if we take a look through DB type over here, we still want to be able to find anything called ref cursor. So how do we get... We do have Oracle mapping type available to us but let me just show you what will happen with this. So IntelliSense is complaining because we actually need to explicitly have a mapping type argument in here not a DB type and that's not available to us with vanilla dapper so what do we need to do to fix this? Well up here you can see that I'm actually using a library called dapper.oracle. Uh, somebody created this as an extension to dapper to help people out using Oracle with dapper and you'll also note that in my test I'm actually using the Oracle Managed Data Access Client and that's how I'm creating my Oracle connection down here. So let's open up NuGet Packet Manager, take a look at what these things are. 
All right, so we'll start with this, Manage Data Access Core, free to download. Same with dapper.oracle, and this is the library that you need to get that data back from that stored procedure, and to do like pretty much any Oracle-specific function in your program. So let me go ahead and show you how that works. So we've already included the library into our program. Let's go ahead, copy this guy out, and let's create our parameter. Before we tried using dynamic parameters, now we will use Oracle dynamic parameters. So what is this? Let's click on here. And we see that we're inheriting from dynamic parameters and we're changing the functionality a bit to make it compatible with our Oracle database functionality. And actually over here you see that we have this Oracle mapping type. So we didn't have that before and this is where we're going to get our ref cursor from. So let's go ahead and add a parameter in here. We know the name to be games. It's a Sorry. I'm actually trying to look for that. Okay, should see it should be DB type. It's an Oracle mapping type of ref cursor. And let's see, what else do we need? Parameter direction. Almost forgot about that. Actually it's just direction. That is output and then finally the nope actually that should be it perfect okay and then let's go ahead and attach that to our list so almost the same way that we did it before on uh, in this instance uh, we are actually going to be adding a parameter in which we'll do momentarily So let's call our store procedure. Define our parameter, which is dynamic parameters. Command type is going to be a stored procedure. And let's see, I believe there was a. Nope, oh, that should be it. And this is going to be a list. All right, let's build that. I'm gonna put in a breakpoint here because I wanna show you what happens when we get our games back. And we will debug that test. All right, so in a moment, I'll actually show you guys this uh, all magnified. Just wanted to get everything sorted out here. Okay, perfect. So we can see that the data that we're actually getting back in our games list is pretty familiar. This is actually the data in our Oracle database. All right, so we've successfully retrieved that data from our stored procedure. So bear that in mind if you want to do anything Oracle specific with Dapper. You're going to need to download this dapper.oracle library from NuGet Package Manager. So be sure to do that. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions on how I can make these videos better, please let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate to hear from you, and I look forward to seeing you guys again. Take it easy.